Hello YouTube, Asuma here, whoa. Oh no. <laughs> That's how you start an episode. Yeah. Asuma here with another episode of my Hermitcraft LP. So, in this episode um, I am going to be doing the project we talked about in the last one before I got distracted by doing those animal pens. And I've had very little time to play on the server lately. Um, but those animal pens, I do want to come back to them. Um, I'm just not sure what I want to build for them yet. But I've got a, a big idea about what I want to do with this place. As I said last time, I want to build a circular building. So I'm going to start off by doing a little bit of terraforming and placing dirt down in a circle and just trying to get a rough idea of how this building's going to look. And one of the things that I want to do is uh, move the portal as well because as you can see, it doesn't line up with the path and that's the kind of thing that would bug me. So I was thinking that we could actually have two portals, maybe one on either side of the room or something like that. I've flattened the land here and I've built my dirt circle going around so we can get a rough idea of where I want to put this building. And I tried a few different sizes but this is the one that I've settled on. And it comes a little closer to the ocean over on this side. And on the other side it's um, a lot further inwards. So for this little island we have at the end here it's not actually going to sit in the centre of it but that's not too big of a deal. On this side I want to put some uh, support stilts under the floor which I'm probably going to build at this level and oh, rather than fill all this in I thought it would be nice when you're approaching from a distance or just looking at it from a different angle that you can see it's supported up underneath and over on the other side as I've said um, it's a bit more of a beach here so I might remove that glass, uh, glass. I might remove the grass and uh, even extend the beach a little bit and maybe put some steps leading down to it or something like that and I'm going to remove all of this sugar cane um, that's kind of our sugar cane at farm at the moment so I think my next project after this will be to replace that with something but anyway for now what I'm going to do is um, move this portal and put one on either side and then align it up with the one in the nether as you can see I've built both of the portals and when I was placing them down I realized that we're going to have the same problem we had over here where it wasn't centered and the reason why is because it's a circle it's going to be the same on all four sides so what I'm going to do is actually extend it over by one block on this side of the circle so the room won't be a perfect circle and then that way this part here will be even on either side of the nether portal and once that's done I think what I want to do first for this building is build the floor we've got a big floor area here and it's mostly going to be flat so I think it would be a good opportunity to try and come up with a nice pattern as I've been gathering the supplies to build this floor, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do with this building and I think I want to put some beds in it so it can be like a hotel or sort of a welcome to the server building and that made me think that I should probably build it in a second room so I'm probably going to build a basement and then that got me thinking that I could also build a room above it as well. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is have like a grand entrance hall with our two nether portals and then somewhere in there we're going to have to put a stairs leading up and another one leading down and I think it would be good to have a second floor in this building as well if you can imagine where the roof would be a few blocks above the nether portals this wouldn't be uh, that much bigger than the buildings over here because these are higher up on the hill so by having yet another um, layer above it another part of the building it would be even higher which I think is important because it's going to be like uh, the hub of the spawn village to get to the nether and yeah I just think that it'd be important for it to be a big building. So here is my first idea for the floor. I was thinking that we could have a pathway like this, um, a pattern on the other side and maybe have room for a stairs leading down underneath like this on this side and then going up on this one but I really don't like it. I don't like the way the wood is outlining where the path is to walk and I think what we need is a pattern that fills up the whole room. I've built a large section of the floor and I'm really not happy with this. The pattern is okay but it's nothing special and the glowstone doesn't fit in well at all. I originally wanted to use redstone lamps um, but if we're going to have a basement below this would probably be the roof of it so there wouldn't be an easy way to power the redstone lamp and yeah the room is also flat which I don't like and these stairs in the middle don't really do much I was thinking of putting some redstone lamps under it on this side and I think what I want to do is have the floor level at this side and slope downwards into the room from all angles so you can just walk straight up to the nether portal from any angle and then that would bring a bit of shape to the room and maybe I can take it from there 
This is looking a lot better now and the slopes leading up to the portals give us a bit of shape on the side and it's been giving me quite a few ideas. I'm thinking about perhaps having water at the bottom of the room, maybe with some glowstone underneath them and lily pads on top so you can walk across, although that might be a bit over the top. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting some ideas about what I want to do with this room and I think I might scrap the basement because uh, I need to put in some lighting, I'm thinking of putting some uh, redstone lamps on the corners here and yeah as I said using water so I'm probably going to get rid of the basement and just have a second room up above and I'm not sure where I'm going to put the stairs for that although I was thinking that we could put it over here and have it curve up one side around the wall up to the top. I feel like I'm having an off day today um, everything I've been trying with the floor hasn't been going too well. I am happy with the bit over there that leads up to the portal but the rest of it just hasn't been coming together and this at least was a little bit unique I thought I'd share it with you it's just a bunch of stairs placed in rows facing the uh, same direction each time and it gives you this nice effect where when you look at it from different angles it always looks a little bit different and of course you can walk straight over it as well so I decided to ring up uh, Top Mass who you may know as Minecrafted, one of the guys who does Pimp My Minecraft and we decided to work on this together and um, we had some good ideas, we started off by doing uh, the birchwood floor going the whole way across and that looked decent and then he suggested to use furnaces and we've come up with this pattern and over here on this side I've changed it just so I can show you that uh, when you do these in a checkered it pattern it looks really decent and what we did have a moment ago was quite interesting we had the checker pattern in the middle here and then you had smooth stone going all the way around on this side with the furnaces across like this and then on the other side um, because there's an even number of blocks the checker pattern uh, pattern would branch off differently and you'd have smooth stone bricks going off like this and the rest was furnaces and that looked really interesting as well and he's uh, throwing some dead flesh around at the moment dead flesh rotted flesh <laughs> but yeah um, so yeah, it looked a bit too dark having all the furnaces together and um, if you have a look at the borders here they kind of bunch up and it didn't really look right so we're going to do the same thing on this side over here and remove the checker pattern and then the floor will be complete so thanks to Top Mass of Minecrafted this place has now moved along a bit and yeah I think it's looking great I've had to put these um, lamps in the middle here so that it lights up all of the floor and over on the other side because we can't make half slabs out of these blocks yet and um, we're just going to have to go have them going up like this and I think that doesn't look too bad either and now what I've been looking at and thinking about is how we're going to make those stairs up to the next floor and the symmetrical thing again is what I really like so what I'm thinking of doing is on this side maybe with these three blocks we raise it upwards and then it slopes upwards around this corner and goes up to the second floor and then we do that on the opposite side over here so the next thing I'll be doing is working on um, making that go upwards and slope round the side and go up to the second floor from up here the path doesn't look that great but from down below it looks pretty decent and uh, you can walk up it quite well as well just like that, turn the corner and up you go and the key to this is having this stair block here because otherwise you wouldn't be able to go straight up at this point here and then you'd be walking right around it um, but yeah I'm happy with this and I'm thinking about the underside at the moment I'm not sure if I'm going to settle with that but it doesn't look too bad what I think I need to do is start using some other materials so that um, yeah, we bring some life to this because it's all stone bricks at the moment and I do plan on adding windows in on the walls and I was also thinking that we should perhaps change this column here to a different material and then have that lead up the side of the stairs and put down some fence posts so that we have like a, a Minecraft equivalent of a handrail and, um, and then I think it would be complete and then I would copy it on the other side and you can also see that I've started putting some slabs up here and um, this is so that it matches the portal at the bottom we've got slabs covering up half of the obsidian so I've done the same thing at the top and I was thinking that this could be the height of the room, this could be the roof, but it's, I don't know, the stairs tend to go up higher than it, so I'm probably going to do what I've done down below, up above, and have it slope outwards. So I've sloped up the roof above the portal and made the stairs go around a little bit higher. I actually don't like this, I felt like it was a lot better where it settled before, which is 
two half slabs lower or a full block and that would be the same height as this bit here and the way this would extend around um, we can make it avoid the stairs quite well whereas the way it is at the moment means you've got this awkward shape coming across the side so I think what I'm going to do is put it back how it was and extend the roof out at this height so here is the much improved pathway from above and if we go down below looks good from down here too I'm not sure about the fence posts at the moment that's something I wanted to try just replacing them with uh, the nether fence posts and I'm not too sure about the nether brick either. I've, I do really like it in this setting, but um, it's probably a good idea not to use too many materials. So if I choose to use it here, I think it would be important to uh, continue using it alongside the stone bricks and the smooth stone and maybe some more furnaces. See, I think that looks better, but the fence posts don't really stand out as much. So it would be nice if we had another material, um, something in between the two, but I'm going to stick with that for now. I've now built the stairs on the second side and I spotted something uh, wrong with the ones over here so I've left it how it was before, it was like this yeah and that's not very good for walking up so what I did was replace them with stairs and now you can walk up the whole way around like that so I'll make that change in a moment and I've been looking at this uh, nether brick from here and I'm seeing like an arch between the two of them and what I was thinking we could do is have this nether act, act as a trim and come across over here and back down somewhere around here and then do the same thing on the other side um, so what I'm going to do next is try and add that but also build up the walls around the side and see how that looks and then I think it will be time to start putting in some windows and adding some detail to the walls I've built up the walls around the room here and I've been working on the nether brick and yeah, I brought this side across to the centre and when I tried to do the same thing on the other side it didn't match up and that's when I realised that the walls on this side are different to that one and if we have a look at the lamps here you can see they're different on this side and what I'm going to do is change the walls on that side and make it the same as this one um, because I think this one just looks naturally nicer than that one over there so I'm going to rebuild these walls and then it should match up the wall at the front here is now fixed and I've added in those windows I was talking about. I was originally going to go with glass but I felt like this place needed to be nether themed and I added a trim of cobblestone around the bottom here and that's when I decided to change it to nether brick. So at the moment I'm not really happy with this part of the room, the shape doesn't look right and I think what I want to do is bring out a flat wall like this across here and then maybe add something behind it like some nether rack with some fire and I'm going to change this trim that goes over to the top here, that really doesn't look that good at all. So I'm not sure what I think of this at the moment, but this is just me trying things out. And this whole this whole room, this whole project so far has been quite a grind. I'm not really an aesthetical builder by nature, I tend to be more practical with what I build. And this is all based around um, just having a nice entrance room to two portals. and. Um, I am struggling with it, I think I've got some good ideas for how I want to make the outside look less bland but at the moment I want to take a break from doing this because um, if you saw Biffa's episode uh, me and him were working over at his base on this sand machine and if you haven't seen the episode I recommend it, it was a really good one, we had uh, a lot of fun and we built these sand machines to help um, fill up the ocean that he has around his base with uh, sand and I've been thinking about it since then and I think I've got some improvements that we can make to his machine and make it a lot easier for him so what I'm going to do is craft myself a stack of pistons drop off all my building supplies and then head over to Biffa's base I'm heading back up now because it's going to take me a few minutes you heading over? yeah I'm rummaging through your chest looking for some cobblestone oh fine, Are you the chest that's the other side of my portal, nether side that's starting to be where I keep Ah. Oh, Electric you only have and, um, you only have um, two stacks of cobblestone, almost three. Um, oh, do you have any I... on you, or I could just mine some actually? Yeah, well, I've a got some. Bit short. Me. Check the chest um, at my base as well. Oh, you're on about the one the other side. I got you. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go through and have a look. Oh goodness me, I can't believe the. There must be if there's not a spider spawner and a skeleton spawner around here. I'm going nuts it's just I can't take three steps I before I'm getting don't blow up 
But I got myself... Uh, it's raining <laughs> here. Oh, it always rains on my island. Yeah, it was raining um, over at the base for ages while I was recording, and then I get, like, like finish recording, it stops raining. Typical, but, um... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, right, I'm crafting. So... I've got to find my way back now. I always like crafting a stack of pistons. Aha. Uh -huh. So is your idea what I think it's going to be? Yeah, it probably is. I don't know. I think you'll like it either way. I duplicated that machine. Yeah. Um, and sort of cannibalised the parts and another one, but left one intact. But I think I might have accidentally removed a piston or something. Not a piston, a repeater or something. And Ooh. So is yours not working right now? That third one there isn't working, no. Okay, uh I'm lost. What's the time? I've probably got about half an hour to record, so oh, we've why do I not have any sand on me? <laughs> oh I've <laughs> got plenty of that. Thing I need. <laughs> so if you get yourself set up, I'll I'm getting back as quick as I can, then I've probably got about half an hour. Oh here we go, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording already, by the way. Um, oh, uh, yeah, well, well, I... Explain to my lis uh, listeners, my, <laughs> to my <laughs> viewers, uh, what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Because uh, I haven't told you even yet. Um, I think nope. I've got a way to hook this machine up so that it will do the entire job from one machine. Mm -hmm. So all you'd have to do is expand paths of pistons around the place and then eventually it'd fill in the whole thing from one machine by pushing the sand that it generates around through lots and lots of groups of pistons. Oh, ah, cool. So, okay. um, it's a bit of an experiment. It's like a idea I formed in my head, so it probably won't go as well as I hope. Um, I'm just setting this one up, by the way. Yeah, I'm just heading back up now with my limited amount of booty. Yeah, I've had my first fortune pick. It's an iron pick. Fortune one. <laughs> and it's been getting me lots of redstone. Oh, a fortune on an iron. What level did you enchant that at? Oh, very low. I was. It's actually Fortune. I'm breaking to Fortune 1, Efficiency 2. I think oh, I did it at level so. 12 or 14 or something. Really low. Yeah. It's probably worth doing if you at that. But I, I always just, do mine at level 1. Hmm. I've just been oh, chucking on. Yeah. If I happen to be past the enchanting room, I just chuck a few on. Okay, this is working. And I don't really want to stop it. In fact, actually, I know how you stop it. Oh, right, well, bear with me a sec. Let me just drop if off. If I do that, we're going to stop it. Drop off my diamonds and, and stuff. And if I hit it again, will it just start? No. Okay, so it needs, it needs like, manual resetting to get it to start again. But that's... Okay. Oh, almost fell in the water. That's Let's fine, because for what I want to do, it doesn't really matter. So oh, you've managed to... Mix. Sorry. <laughs> you've, you've managed to get my one working, then. What had I done wrong? Um... Just the so repeater settings were the wrong way around, and I don't think you'd loaded up the right amount of sand. You have four on each. Yeah, that's right. Right, is so you can, we can is turn it not, that. Sorry? Is it not four on each that you need, or...? Yeah, four on each. I've removed them all for the moment, because um, I want to go work on this piston <laughs> thing. <laughs> There's still more here. Here we go. Right. Oh, um, what, just before you start that, what had I done wrong with the repeaters, just so I know for next time? You put the settings the wrong way around. I've just changed them. That one's now three ticks, and that one's now uh, one tick. Oh, I didn't realise. Okay. Um, oh, right, so what I'm thinking is... Have we got something under these pistons? Yeah, we have. Right, let's take some of these. Um, just going to have to think for a moment. So it pushes out this far. Hmm. Okay, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but this might work as well. Okay. I can make a lever 
I'm going to ruin your ocean a little bit here. Well, they'll get filled in anyway. There we go. Um, Where do you want the lever? Uh, just to power that piston. This one? On this side over here. No, that'll power the one next to it. No, will it? Actually, it probably won't. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, power, power that piston and see what happens. <laughs> We're going to crash the server. <laughs> okay, oh. that looks good. Um, so then... How would we draw the power out of that? We'd need a repeater. I've got some of those with me. You're prepared this time, aren't you? Yes. I think I was prepared last time, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, I edited all that out. Yes, we were totally prepared. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, smart piston. So now it's going to push them across this way. I was thinking that then we could make another row of pistons. I'm not quite following what's going on here, but carry on. I've got all the wrong materials here. I should have put some dirt. It's so much easier to work with than cobblestone. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, so, where's that? Sorry, where's that pushing out? It's pushing out this way. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's probably wrong already. Yeah, it is. Put them in the wrong place. Let Oops. me get some more blocks, because you're going to use all those up. Yes. Do you have a shovel as well? Yep. That would be great because uh, I didn't enchant one before I came over here. I'm afraid it's a plain old vanilla iron shovel. That's fine, that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stock up late, later and uh, do tons of enchanting. Can't yeah, I've, I've not done hardly any at all. So I need to... I've got some more diamonds now, so I need to... What are you doing? <laughs> Falling. <laughs> <laughs> Falling and dying. Oh, I thought I was. When I when I looked down and saw how far I was falling, I was like, nope, please don't. <laughs> oh no, you can still fall off the edge of these and pretty much survive. Oh, I hate eating sometimes. It's like you want to move around quickly when you're doing stuff and you have to stop and uh, stand around and eat. It's so annoying. Oh, your shovel's up here. Do you want it? I really wish there was potions of hunger regeneration because I would just make so many of them and throw them at my feet. Yeah, and it's just behind you on the sand. Oh, I've thrown it down there. Go back to where you were. Down oh, the there, iron so shovel. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. And do you want some dirt as well? Um, yeah. Go on then. Oh, we were prepared this time as well, it looks like. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Um, right, so that's going to push out this way. And now we're going to place pistons like that. Yes, that's correct. They're going to fall down. Uh, we want one there as well. Oh, I see. So you're gonna. Oh, don't tell me I'm at the wrong height to place them. Oh, right. that's okay. You have to just go with the bounce of the water. Yes, so I was waiting to the top of the bottom. <laughs> okay. Um, so somewhere here we need to extend this. So uh, no, that won't work. Well, this has turned into an interesting episode. I was going to do a bit of caving, find a skeleton spawner and get lost. Uh, oh, and drown. Um, do we have a lever here? Um, you've got a lever, haven't you? Yep. Could Hang you on. just power this for a test? Um, so I, I, think, I think this is going to power those pistons and then we can draw... So oh. you want me to power this one that's over here again? I'll do it this side. This no, no, time. over here where I've placed this block. Just power, power that block. This one here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, no, it doesn't work how I thought it would. Um, we've got a bit of piston overload. This is supposed to go a lot smoother than this. <laughs> so it no longer powers this one if we take it down one block. That was weird. Uh, Oh, there you go. I guess it's not the end of the world if this one doesn't get powered, is it? Um, what I'm thinking is we need to extend the current. Hmm. Right, so if I give myself a little bit of working space here, place down a repeater. Right, so if I put a repeater like that, it's not going to power this block. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, no, wait, I got it. Yeah, this is how we do it. Oh no, again. Right, what I'm trying to do is make the current come round the corner. 
But if I right. do this, it's just going to back power itself, yeah? Yeah. So we need something one way, and if we place down a repeater, then it's not going to power the piston on the side of it. I mean, we could make it so it misses out one piston. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, might have to. That's probably the easiest way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking, there's got to be a way to... Can't we just block it with a... Lock it with a block. So you're basically trying to stop the power going along the pistons where you're standing. Yeah, that doesn't work, does it? No. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop recording for a moment because we we should find <laughs> a solution and stop, you know... Yeah. And then come back when we've got the solution. Exactly. So sh we'll be back! We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Um, we have now finished building this piston thing and we've realised how we're going to do this, how it's going to work. Um, so this is more of the prototype one, so we'll be testing it in a moment. And testing it is actually going to take a really long time, right? <laughs> because uh, we've got to wait for it all to fill up to see if this actually works. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. But the sand is going to make its way across here, so each time um, this fills up like a big segment like that, the pistons stop extending, so the sand gets pushed across the next one. Now when it comes over to the corner here, it's going to get pushed over the top of this smart piston, so the sand's going to go on top of the torch, it doesn't break, we tested that as you... Oh, cheers Biffa. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to move out your way. <laughs> there we go, classic. Um, yeah, so the sand doesn't break, and because then the sand is powered, it powers the piston, and it pushes it this way. And the same line of redstone that's powering these pistons powers these ones around the corner. And this is where we could have a bit of trouble with the timing. If these are extended while this is trying to push into them, it might cause some trouble. But then what Biffa realised after that was that when the sand just drops down, you can have another row of pistons one block lower. Um, so these pistons are going to stop pushing because of the uh, power running out. And this piston over here isn't... Oh, I think we've missed something, by the way. Do we need a... Oh, we missed something out. A smart, we need a smart piston power thing when, here. When it we? drops down it's not going to continue pushing them in this direction. We need one more piston underneath here somewhere. But we can um, add that. Yeah. Okay. So there, there's there's a small thing we overlooked. But the we idea need one is of those. that... Yeah. yeah. It, it pushes them off the edge, it drops down, and then the next row of pistons start pushing um, all the way over to here, and then it drops down again. Um, but we need to add that one more smart piston in. So I guess we'll do that now, because um, otherwise this isn't going to work without it. Yeah, okay. And we're back... Um, Hello. This is now flawed again. What we were hoping with this is that we could have a continual line of um, pistons. I just realised something. We're supposed to make one of these over there as well, but yeah. Just another smart piston. When the sand makes its way over to here, and this one's pushing them out. Oh, we've got another problem here as well. We've got to remove that one as well. Otherwise it's going to push the sand out, land on the redstone, and it's going to break. So, now we've got two gaps. Oh well. Um, <laughs> so it's going to push over here, fall down, smart piston's going to activate and start pushing them that way again. So we need to build another one of these over here and then we can test it. Okay, so we've added the other smart piston and now in theory this thing should work. But um just been talking about to Biffa about what I'm going to do. Um, I'm probably going to go into creative mode, not on the map of course, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'd never go into creative mode on this server. <laughs> <It's cheating. laughs> but yeah, I, I will be trying to figure out a solution for this, because what we'd like is something seamless where um, you can basically build the machine with pistons and then it's going to do the entire job for you, because at the moment we're going to be left with gaps in the water, and uh, yeah, we don't want that. Although, saying that, um, when you finish, like when the <laughs> when the machine is finished <laughs> yeah when the, when it's finished adding in all of the sand you can come back here and add two extra pistons here and remove the smart piston and then it will do that part of the job and then you can move up to the next bit and you can remove all of this add two extra pistons there and then it will fill in that part of the ocean so well, that's true yeah you that's can still get much, it, it you can still get it to do a lot more of the work for you but anyway we are now going to leave this thing running for ages and see if it does the job. Wish us luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Biffa had to go and I was waiting around here to see what would happen when the sand reached the corner. And the smart piston didn't work. Um, 
it caused a lot of problems. I think the biggest problem we're going to have is that this actually pushes two blocks out at once because it's, I don't know, it's very strange and glitchy. And yeah, it pushed it across and it knocked the repeater out. So the smart piston didn't work. And I decided just to power this one from over here like this. And then it got around the corner a bit. It started doing this row here. And this piston wasn't powered because I had to uh, disconnect the wire there. And yeah, it just stopped working. So at the moment I'm pretty baffled by this. And I also saw a big flaw with what we've done over here. Um, because because up there the sand gets pushed across on top of the torch, it kind of stuck in my mind that it was okay to do this. But here the tor uh, sorry, the sand is going to drop down from above onto the torch, which is going to break the sand. So this bit here is completely useless as well. So what I built here is what I think might be a solution to what we're doing. Um, the sand is going to get pushed by the piston over this way and I just pointed it out a moment ago. The way that thing works is very glitchy and it seems to push out two blocks at once. So that's going to play an important part in this because I think that might actually stop this from working. But anyway, the idea is that the sand gets pushed along and when these ones are finished extending out um, 12 blocks, they can no longer push the blocks and they don't extend so the sand moves on to the next one. Then when it gets to this bit here, um, one thing about this is that we might need a repeater here to get the timing right because we don't want the sand being pushed into the piston head when it's extended. Um, but yeah, if it works well and it works right, then this piston will push the sand block up. This one will then push it to the side and it will drop down over here. And then the same thing is going to happen again. This is going to continue pushing out the sand. When this is filled up, then um, there will be a sand block here so it will push it across into the next one. Same thing again and it will make its way across these pistons and then we should be able to repeat uh, the same thing that we have here. And yeah, the problem with this is again, the way the, the way the machine is glitchy and it seems to push out two sand blocks at once, it's probably going to mess up when it gets to this bit here. Although it's possible that we could just remove this piston and have another one facing upwards. But um, that's all I'm going to be doing on this today. It's been a real headache and I think I'm going to talk to some people um, who know about this machine and see if they've got any solutions for our problem. With this being my 10th episode on the Hermitcraft server, I did plan on doing an extra long episode, about 40 minutes, and I thought that perhaps every 10 episodes we could do something like that. But unfortunately I had a really hectic weekend and had no time to record on here, and I met up with Biffa to do the 40 minute episode and my fraps messed up and didn't record, so things fell behind there but I already mentioned earlier in the video about him putting out that episode and it was a really good one so if you want to go check that out there's a link to that in the description box. So that's all I have time for this episode. Uh, it's a good thing Biff was around so we could do some more work on that machine but there you go it was a bit longer than usual and on the 20th episode I want to do something really good maybe by then we'll be ready to go to the end and kill the dragons so we can do a little bit of dragon slaying but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.